Hey guys, it's Brad here from Get Out There Gear Reviews, and today I'll be testing and reviewing the Hotcore Mantis 2. This is a two person tent for backcountry and front country camping. We're going to be going off on some canoe trips to put this to the test. Setup is really easy with the Hotcore Mantis 2. The tent uses the Mantis pole design system. This is a one-piece aluminum pole system connected by a shock cord and linked together with three hubs. After inserting the poles in the corner grommets, the tent is clipped to the poles, creating a rigid freestanding shelter. The center of the pole features a clear swivel hub, which connects a small cross pole with the main body. This hub has been redesigned and is a notable upgrade over previous models, adding increased durability. The tent comes with ample pegs, nothing fancy, but standard and gets the job done. The entryway has a roomy three-quarter zipper and the screen can be rolled up to easily move in and out. The Mantis 2 features plenty of mesh, perfect to capture a refreshing breeze on those hot summer nights. Inside, there is plenty of floor space, over three square meters, to accommodate two adults and personal gear. There's tons of interior storage too, including an oversized top mesh gear loft and roomy sidewall pockets at your head and feet for easy to reach items. The zippers are bright green and feature reflective coating, which is handy for nighttime entry and exit. The floor is made from a mid thickness of a 70D polyester it's rated 2,000 millimeters of waterproofing and the seams are sealed. The rainfly is made from 70D embossed ripstop polyester, which is lightweight yet still boasts a 1,500 millimeter waterproof coating. A note on waterproofing. Essentially, this means the fly can withstand a 1,500 millimeter column of water for one minute before a droplet could penetrate the fabric. This would be the equivalent of driving rains in a 120 km per hour windstorm. The fly also features guy lines for extra strength and high winds. They're bright green and coated with reflective coating, so there's less chance you're going to trip over them in the night. The tent also features a bottom rain fly vent to promote comfy ventilation. There's even extra material at all the tie down points for added strength. So I've used this Mantis 2 tent now for about 60 days on various canoe trips through the spring, summer and fall. So far I've been very impressed with it. It's kept us warm and dry in adverse conditions from rain to light snow. And we've even had some really, really heavy wind storms whip through with the guy wires and the multiple staking options for the fly. We really haven't had any issues with say rain driving underneath it. All tent materials will eventually reach a saturation point. We really haven't met a saturation point with this tent so far. Being out in some of those heavy, heavy rainstorms, it's not to say that you won't ever experience that. The Rainfly uses a zippered close, but also has a few Velcro strips for added closure from the elements. The fly also rolls back up like the screen door does. So this is a 60 liter food barrel with a harness on it. Just to give you an idea of how much space there is here in the vestibule for gear should you need to keep it out of the rain. Sideways you can fit two of these bad boys uh, in here, even stuff on top if you wanted to. Vertically this thing fits as well. We're looking about two and a half feet at most. Uh, so you have plenty of space inside these vestibules for keeping any of your gear and equipment outside of the rain should you need to. It's one of the best things we like about the Mantis lines of tent is the fact that it actually has dual vestibules. So the person sleeping on one side can have some of their gear and equipment and their own entry and exit way. So you don't need to climb over the other person in the middle of the night. If there's gonna be an obstruction on one side as well, you could both go out the one side of the tent. Just gives you a bit of versatility in how you wanna pitch your tent. This tent weighs in at six pounds and freestanding it's 5.4 pounds. 
So it's not an ultra light tent. However, you're getting a lot of additional space with that weight with the two vestibules and a true two person sleeping area. It's 140 centimeters wide, which unless you're a really, really large person should be fairly easy to fit two people shoulder to shoulder. I'm six foot three and this tent is 2.2 meters long. So I still have ample space at my feet uh, to stretch out. So unless you're pushing uh, in the mid to high six foot range, you're gonna have lots of room in this tent. Overall, I've really enjoyed using Hotcore's Mantis 2 tent, and it's a go-to on all our trips. If you're looking for a true two-person tent with roomy dual vestibules and doesn't break the scale, be sure to check it out for yourself.